Good morning, everybody. This is a morning vlog that I want to talk about Krishan Rock. Krishan Rock got released from jail, prison, wherever she was at. Like, you know, I have to be honest. I have to be honest. I have to be honest. God works in mysterious ways. Everybody, including me, said that she was going to serve eight years. But, you know, let me tell y'all something. There's a lot of people in this world that catch drug charges and get off on them. Like, people sell drugs and do drugs and this, that, that and the other. People catch those charges all the time. People catch those charges all the time and get off on them. And by her doing eight years, but I'm glad she got her freedom back. But the main thing is right now, she needs to be the mother of the year. Besides her, but I mean, I'm not going to dispute her, like her rapping career, her singing career, whatever. And I know she want to make that money, make that money. But she needs to be a mother, be a mommy. But she needs to see about her son, even though Krishan Jr. is one. But she needs to see about her son. Her son needs some nurturing. Like, some attention for his physical and mental disabilities. Because how the way, because when he going to grow up, he's going to be having life challenges with his physical and mental disabilities. Because, you know, I have a feeling that Krishan Rock did drugs while she was pregnant. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. Because, you know, they say when women smoke weed, it makes the child smart. But when you do other drugs, it's going to cause the child to have birth defects. But, you know, as far as Kashara Rock, I'm glad she got her freedom back. I'm glad she's out. But as far as Blueface, he's going to serve four or four years. Four or four years. Regardless, credit, jail credit, good behavior, he's going to serve all them four years. Because I feel that Blueface is a danger to the community. And I just really can't believe he got um, Jaden knocked up twice and then turned around and seduced somebody that is three years younger than him. Got her knocked up. He got two kids with one woman and got another one with the younger one that's three years younger. And that doesn't make any sense. That's just not right. That's not right. I mean, you know, I mean, I really don't know what to say on that. But as far as Jaden, Jaden Alexis, and I ain't gonna lie, she fine as hell. She fine as hell and thick as hell. I just hope that she. Find another man that is bigger and better than Blueface. And I don't care about Blueface being a rapper. Because to be honest, I just now find out he's a rapper. And I bet his stuff ain't no good than Krishan Rock stuff. But I really don't listen to Krishan rap. So, I mean, but I know she, like, you know, sampled Sexy Red, a song, Fuck My Baby Daddy. But, <laughs> but she did have, like, his face on her, on her cheek and on her neck, but she got it removed. But, you know, and, like, I just hope and pray Krishan Rock has learned her lesson and going to be better, as she say, and be a better mother and be a good mother, see about her son and nurture him and see about his physical and mental disabilities because that child needs to be nurtured and be taken care of and be watched over. Now, Cardi B, Cardi B. Um, they say she gave birth. How? Like, there's no way that her bump could have been this big. Like, she was only a couple months. But unless she was at high risk. Like, you know, when you give birth early, I think, well, I, I mean, you know, Cardi B, how the way Cardi B is, she's never going to reveal her child until he or she is like five months how the way she did culture and then she did her other son she, like how the way she is she's not going to reveal her child's face until she's ready and I don't blame her but you know that's pretty much with any woman like there's women that had that pregnancy and they wait until their child is like you know like big or a month or five months or they just you know well, just know that that woman had a child and gave birth and popped. Had a child. And for all, being pregnant 
captures truly all of it. By her being pregnant, that captures all of it. You know? And besides, as I said before, I don't believe that that child that grew inside a Cardi is offset. Because for all, I'm quite sure Jade popped and word on the street is Offset got two other women knocked up. Like, I don't know if Cardi B, like, I mean, I really don't know what to say, but I mean, I just, this, if she want to continue dealing with this for the rest of her life, until her kids start college in 20 to 25 years or 30 years, that's on her. Because that's her heart and her mental health and emotions. Because, I mean, she just been through so much. And she's been saying the same bull crap for the past 6.7 years. And it's getting old and annoying. Like, like I, I don't, like, listen. I'm going to give y'all some advice. This is for all you women out here that's in relationships, that's been in relationships for, like, since middle school, high school, college, and is engaged and married, going through the divorce, a breakup, this, that, then the other. If a man, like, it doesn't, it's not just the men, women too. Listen, if your partner has been doing you dirty for so long and been doing some sneaky stuff behind your back for years, leave. You do not deserve to go through that mental and emotional pain. And heartbreak. If you're tired, if your hands tired, if you wash your hands, leave. And I know it's not that easy going through the divorce. And you know what? The history and the bond and memories, fuck that. Fuck that. If that person has been doing you dirty for so many years, leave. There are so many fish out here in the sea, and I know. The love is not going to be the same, but there is somebody out here that's going to treat you better. But even though you got kids by that person, it's called co-parenting. It's called co-parenting. You have to co-parent. But besides, I'm quite sure y'all going to be sneak having sex anyway. But and if you in another relationship, no. Like, co-parent. Like, Fuck the bond and history and memories. Like, but if, if y'all still want to go through that, so we meet you. That's your life and that's your mental health and your heart. If you want to continue getting hurt, be my guest. Because I hate seeing people hurt and heartbroken. Just like how I heard it on the IG Live and it went viral, I heard it all in Cardi B's voice that she was hurt. And I feel that she deserves so much better. But if she want to continue going through all that bullshit, that's on her. Like, that's her life. And she is grown. And that's her choice. And that's her decision. That's her decision. Like, we all out here are grown. And all the people that is under 18, that is fit to be grown. But you're not mature by the time you turn 25. But whatever decision we make in life and choice we make in life, that's our decision and option and choice. That's all I can say. And this is what this video is about.